Hello. <laughs> Once again, my name is Kia Fion, and I'm speaking on behalf of Courier House. Thanks so much for being here, you all. Appreciate it. So, first is gonna start with my inspired text. Uh, this is from Tao Lin's Bed. Lately, they were always reassuring each other that nothing was wrong, and probably it was true. Life wasn't supposed to be incredible, after all. Life wasn't some incredible movie. Life was all the movies ever happening at once. There were good ones, bad ones, and some went straight to DVD. And here's a quote from my dad. Isn't Harvard supposed to be like medical school, business school, law school, PhD school? What are you doing? Why are you filming this? For as long as I can remember, I mean, <laughs> wow, what a cliche way to start a speech, but for as long as I can remember, I have been completely and utterly enamored by film. But I always thought of it as a way to just enhance narrative, nothing more. To, to me, art was silly. It didn't progress anything. It just asked us hard questions that we could never answer. In the eighth grade, there was this person I really liked, and so I scrapped together everything I had, which was nothing. I had to just beg my parents. Immigrant families don't do allowances. But my family and I scrapped together about $80 for me to buy the cheapest guitar I could find. And in trying to learn to play for someone that didn't care about you, I ended up understanding what art was about. <laughs> At least for me. <laughs> I just wanted to tell stories and explain how everything you can't see, how all of this, feels. Now I'm graduating and I don't understand art again. See, my last eight months have been replaying over and over, and not because I feel bittersweet about the end or that there's some sort of temporal time loop telling me to have a transformative experience over and over at the end of every email and every statement made by the college, but that I've been reenacting my life over and over and over again. See, for the past few years I've been making a film about my life. And once I gave up on that narcissistic dream, through my time at the college, my film has actually had a transformative experience and has become about itself. See, it's a film about trying to go back and redo moments from my life. I built the time machine and everything. Or, well, the character of Key Hub built the time machine. It's complicated, <laughs> but for the past year, I've been filming things. What started off as a last second project idea in class has taken over my life. It's about me trying to make a film, and in the chaos of such, I just ended up documenting everything, every day. Every moment felt important, one I didn't want to lose to the infinity of time. Just imagine. I filmed one of my film classes critiquing my movie, and later on had them watch the footage and film them watching that footage, and then asked if they could reenact said footage. And when I wanted to make the reenactments and my professor just stopped responding to my pleas to play himself through an email every week, I had someone else play my professor. But then that person also wanted to be in the film as themselves, so then I had to have them play two people, to ex but then also explain that to the audience. See, conversations with people became inherently different when there was a camera there. As I tried to recreate moments and to film everything that happened to me, my life became less about what was happening and more about where it was gonna go in this larger than life film. Dates became scenes, arguments with people became climax plot points, and more and more I started to lose a grip on what was real. Documentary fiction. That's what people like to call my film. To me, it's my life. As I've finally been putting it all together, I've noticed that this project will never end until I claim an ending. I could just keep redoing things, keep wanting a new experience out of an old moment. I learned that I only get one shot at documenting a particular thing, but how something was in that moment isn't particularly important because we can go back and redo what we did. In fact, I argue that all we're doing throughout our life is trying to remake things, get that feeling of how things were, but they're never how they are. And that's okay because in the pursuit of recreating old things, we create new things, we go on new adventures, we meet new people, we learn new perspectives, and I think that's what's important. As I finish up this film, I think about the future. See, the time machine in my movie could never go forward or tell me what was going to happen. But to me, 
that's so beautiful. I can't know what's going to happen, and so I can't redo it or try to film it or do anything. I can just focus on the moments I'm living and try to constantly be who I want to become. It reminds me of the moments when I was learning to play the guitar, unsure if it mattered to my love interest, but it mattered because I didn't know what would happen. All I knew was that I wanted to tell a story. I think that I want this, this right here, to be the ending of my film. What do you all think? Thank you.